self evaluation with a checklist and reformulation this topic refers to uh, the self diagnosis process which we can impart which we can develop or inculcate in our students we can train them we can make them aware well it can be possible at, at advanced level but um, if uh, if we think of implementing it at elementary level it may be uh, difficult but but with the use of a checklist by checklist i mean certain questions about grammatical accuracy about um, content about organization about coherence about richness of vocabulary so there can, there is a checklist which we can use and which we can ask student to compare their own work uh, with these comments and reformulate them let's discuss some of the points within this subtopic of responding to written work so one point which is very worth raising is to ask student to see if their work if their argument is clearly stated does it have clarity and where is it present which which area of which stay at which stage of the essay or a letter the argument is there is there evidence is there ample um ample evidence to support the idea i mean it's not that the students uh, talk just in the air rather what they talk what they write is supported by some evidence are there enough subheadings do the subheadings cover the content being discussed and if they have checked carefully the spelling and grammatical accuracy i mean these are the points which we can raise while training students to self correct their work and reformulate it make it better other points include our references appropriately given or used i mean appropriate use of references is i mean what kind of evidence is required to advance the argument are the references complete and do they follow a consistent model or format for example mla or apa or chicago have you uh, written within the word limit count i mean let's say if the teacher asks student to write essay on climate change around 250 words so whether their word limit is sufficient or less or exceeds i mean this is what is tricky is like just to make the balance between the word count and the development of ideas so there are some strategies we can bring in as language teachers while inculcating the spirit of self evaluation remember this is just a minute aspect of teaching l2 writing while responding to there are some other aspects which we have already discussed in the previous modules which include oral and written feedback and um, conferencing peer evaluation so self assessment can happen in the form of pairs in the form of groups where students read each other's work or they read aloud their own work when they read aloud their own work they might uh, recall what they have written and might think of correcting it uh, themselves and then the reformulation by the teacher how the teacher actually gives feedback and encourages students to reformulate their work um reformulation can happen in the form of comparing first draft with the second draft or the third draft or the final draft so this is how self evaluation with a checklist is an effective strategy and this is what we need to employ or make a part of our uh, writing course